Optimizing your chunking techniques is one of the top places to improve performance in a rag pipeline, and late chunking is the most exciting new technique I've seen so far. Embedding an entire document into one vector means a lot of lost context and high resource costs. Basically, it doesn't work. So you can chunk up your document into smaller sizes and embed each of those pieces separately. There's a ton of different options for techniques, whether it's sentence-based chunking, semantic chunking, or just based on token count. Unfortunately, because we break the document up and split connections, we can end up with problems like lost context. Pronouns like it's and the city, an example of here, are no longer linked to their relative entity, Berlin, which means the embedding model Model can struggle with relating the two, producing a lower quality vector representation. On the other end of the spectrum is Colbert, also called late interaction. Colbert doesn't use chunking at all to assess similarity between a document and a query. Instead, it tokenizes the entire document and query and does sort of a similarity matrix between them. This means it keeps positional embeddings and contextual information relevant, meaning we don't run into problems with lost context. Unfortunately, this is also super computationally expensive. In this blog post benchmarks, we can see that late interaction or Colbert took about 2.5 terabytes of storage space compared to the 5 gigabytes of regular chunking. That's 500 times more storage resources because we need to store every token in a document as a high dimensional representation. Madness. Seems like we have a Goldilocks problem here. How do we get something that is just right? Late chunking, a new method from Gina AI, takes concepts from both of these to create a super powerful, but not so computationally expensive, chunking method. We can first tokenize and embed the entire document using a long context document embedding model, and then chunk the token embeddings instead of the text itself. Finally, we pull the token representations, resulting in outputted chunks super similar to our naive chunking method, with one difference. Because we embedded the document first, now our resulting chunks have relations from the full document, meaning we no longer have a previous problem of lost context. Let's revisit our text example from earlier. When we query this text with the word Berlin, naive chunking produces a high similarity score for the first text, directly mentioning Berlin, but a lower score on the text just saying it's or the city. Naive chunking has no idea what entity it or the city referred to, so that similarity score is incorrectly lower. By contrast, late chunking preserved the same similarity score between all three sentences because the contextual information about that entity, Berlin, is preserved. Late chunking also takes the same amount of stored resources as our naive approach, one five hundredth of the amount of the late interaction or Colbert. The best part of this new method is that you can implement it without any changes to existing pipelines just by adding a few lines of code into your embedding step. All resources are linked in the description.